with no further ado, we are going to let you now watch the documentary about Olivia Valère. This was Sarah Berzel's final project for her uh, media and journalism, the bachelor's degree that she's just done in the Marbella International University Centre. I have to say I've already seen it. It's well worth watching. Here we go. Can I tell you about myself? Hello. Come on. Happy to receive you in my house. Follow me. Uh, I begin uh, in Paris my uh, job like uh, uh, night clubber. When I buy my first club in Paris, I was very young and I was very, very lucky because I had an, a very big success immediately. I was pure, I had two children and I was a mother at home. So it was something very special for me to begin in this style of business. I married my first husband when I was 18 because my parents were really very severe they was very uh, hard with me. My mother doesn't like that I uh, go out, that I have friends and everything. So my first husband, I married him to escape of the jail of my family. Uh, they was not so, so, so strong, but uh, my mother, each time that I go with friends uh, and I come at uh, 11 o'clock, uh, uh, it was too late. I was expecting on, uh, on the door during one hour to punish me. And at this moment, I think that the liberty is to find a husband. And I was really very lucky because my first husband is an angel. And uh, he let me do all what I like. I, I fall in love with my second husband 43 years ago, and I leave him. But he, he was always a, an exceptional human being. Everybody knows that my ex-husband lived with us. I am the only woman who lived with her two husbands because I think that uh, it's very important. He is the father of my two first children and he was a very good man. On the beginning in 81, when I opened my first discotheque, it was a really very, very famous Paris. And uh, I, I was very lucky because I was receiving all the most important people and stars came to, because the ambience and the, the, and the people uh, was uh, really very fashion. And the first time I, uh, a prince arrived in my disco in Paris, at this epoch, he liked to have dinner and he liked a hamburger. And me, I have French cuisine, very sophisticated. So my chef was crazy. He said, what I, we are not, uh, we are not uh, McDonald's. I said, you have to do a hamburger, do what you like make what you can, but he liked to eat hamburger. What can I do? That the t first meal, he eat an hamburger that we had difficulty to do. I always said that the most important thing uh, in, a, in a disco, it's like if you prepare flowers. You have to know how to mix the flower together and uh, it's like when you make a cocktail. You have to know exactly what, uh, uh, how you have to put uh, the different alcohols that have a good taste. And me, I think that uh, I was lucky and I have perhaps uh, a little feeling special that I know how to mix the people. You had a very beautiful girl. I was one of the first one who began to invite uh, the uh, uh, model agency. On my first disco in Paris in 81, I had uh, the most beautiful girls, we had the most famous people on the, on the place, and it was fa fashion, fashion, the music, very, very fashion. At this epoch, it was disco, you know. I received also very important people because I was friend with somebody very important in show business who now is dead, but his name was Jacques Morali and he made the village people, and I received Air Jacket, I received Donna Summer, and they was friends, and we was really very close friends with him. And with the disco, uh, I received so much uh, singers that one day I was thinking to make a record. Thank you. 
historia de amor lo volvió paro. Cantinero de Cuba, 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 cantinero de Cuba, 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 solo de la guardiente para olvidar. Cantinero de Cuba, 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 cantinero de Cuba, 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 solo de la guardiente para olvidar. Chimera was a singer and she was very, very famous in uh, France. And one day, she invited me to Marbella for her birthday. And I arrived there with a son, a beautiful temper writer. I said, but I didn't know that paradise is so near than uh, Paris. And I fall in love in Mar with Marbella. And like that, I begin in Marbella. Three years after, I opened my first discotheque here. So uh, Marbella increasingly became um a hunting ground for paparazzi, so basically Puerto Banús is, is where everybody sort of used to hang out and that's where everybody went, you know. Nowadays if a celebrity comes it's kind of harder to find them, but in those days there was only two or three hotels to look at, you know. At, at this moment Marbella is not, was not Marbella like today, it was completely different. It, it was more a uh, holiday uh, little city that the people came for, for, uh, in uh, uh, the summer for Christmas, but uh, during all the rest of the year, it was very, very quiet. I think that we was around 30,000 people or 40,000 people in Marbella. Now we are 300 or 400,000. You see, it was a little, uh, very little uh, uh, town. You know, when she got here, it was, Marbella was already changing. It was already changing, but she filled a gap which Regine left, which was very appropriate to make her the queen of the night. I had a, a competition with a very famous lady in the night, Regine. For us, who used to work in the press, uh, we really got to know or get interested in Olivia when she took over from Regine, uh, who was actually not a very nice lady. There was a building named uh, uh, that the name uh, Gré d'Albion, and we opened. We I built the first discotheque on the underground, and uh, uh, it was uh, very uh, special because we are really uh, very near the port. And at this moment, the port was fashion, and uh, it was the place to be. Then Olivia came. Uh, she had a great discotheque here in Puerto Anus, in Great Albion. But there was, you know, it was a great discotheque, loads of fun for young people, nice music, whatever. Nothing for us. It was when she took over Regine, and the figure of Regine obviously was lost. And she became much more nice to us than what Regine was, you know, that we started going to her and getting to know her. And it's very funny, the first night that we opened the disco, it was the 4th of July. And it was 1,000 people, all the, all the, all the city was completely uh, 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 stopped by the, by the traffic. And it was very nice because everybody was fighting to have an invitation. It was really very, very uh, successful. And uh, we, we uh, opened Marbella with a lot of pleasure. 4th of July in 1984. And uh, then after that, later, she got the, her actual discotheque in the Istan Road. And at the moment, uh, we decided to do something more bigger because uh, on the hotel it was a little complicated. I built this place from uh, uh, empty la land uh, dirty and empty land in 72 days. 72 days, like a magical uh, uh, fairy, this place came and is what he is today. Really a very, very beautiful place. Uh, even some contests, uh, we always win uh, one of the best clubs of the world. I think that I, I, deserve, I deserve to be on the Guinness. If I think that I can fail, of course, every year you always are afraid to have some uh, uh, competition. But I am a little pretentious. I have to tell you that uh, after 30 years of night, I am not a discotheque. I am uh, brained. I have a, 
uh, I think that uh, everywhere they heard about me. It's not like a new discotheque who opened. Of course, there is a lot of people talented who can do something. But me, it's uh, like, a, like a brain, like a mark. Olivia Valère for night, it's well known on the around the world. I always said that to come to Marbella and not visit Olivia Valère is like to go to Paris and not visit the Tour Eiffel. I spent fortunes to change the places because the people, after long times, they, they are a little uh, tired of the place. So we always uh, think all the time to find ideas. And thanks God, now I have uh, the chance to have my two, uh, my three children working for me. And they are young, they have ideas. Now we have a little, like they said, dépassé, dépassé. But I have the new uh, generation who knows better about the DGs. I don't know nothing. In my club in the summer, at four o'clock, you have line to come in. Uh, that is very special. It's, uh, it's the new generation. My inspiration. I like to uh, find some uh, uh, sophisticated ideas and a little uh, romantic ideas. Today, it's not the same. At my epoch, I make a lot of parties uh, with long dresses like Gatsby the Magnifique. Today, uh, the mentality is destroyed, completely destroyed. And slowly by slowly, I feel that it's not more my world. But uh, don't think that I am an old lady. I think that if I retire completely, I will be dead. Uh, what I think about my nickname, it's uh, now accept, I accept it very well. But when I begin 30 years ago, that there was Regine, who was the queen, when they tell me, I said, I, I'm too young to be queen, I am the princess. Now I can accept, because uh, the, at this time, I, I am 71 years. I am the only woman who said the real age that I have. All my friends, every year, they have one year less. I feel not old, but I feel that it's the, the, the page of the book turned and it's not the same. First, I was young and pretty. And that, when you look at the picture, gives you a little sadness. But we have to say that uh, with the experience and, uh, and life and uh, love of your friend, you, you can uh, support it. But when you look at the past, it was different. Uh, everybody loved her, uh, uh, her youngest. Uh, you are young, you, you can do anything you want, and it was uh, really, you have the future in front of you. And that is marvelous. Everybody can have what they want. They have to uh, uh, believe in it and uh, work hard on it. But uh, if you are a hard worker, you always uh, uh, obtain the success that you deserve on your uh, life. My older son was in the business when uh, uh, he finished his studies, beginning slowly by slowly. They, they pushed me little by little to take my place. To be on night business, you have to be very, very uh, a good relation, uh, uh, public relation. And he is marvelous because when he kisses you, that you are poor or rich, there is no difference. The feeling is strong and the love, uh, uh, his love for human being is very, very big. Uh, I was uh, taking care of my children, not like I would like to do, because I was really very busy to, 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 to have a so big uh, job and so big uh, work. I was always uh, uh, working since 2, uh, 2 p.m. till 5 a.m. I have a very short time for my children. And that makes me sad because perhaps I lost uh, uh, beautiful moments. I remember, when I remember them, I remember very few hours uh, of uh, deep uh, souvenir. And, uh, but I, I don't have time to be a, a wonderful mother. But I, I think that I make some mistakes, like a lot of people who are working. We think that giving a lot of uh, uh, presents and uh, to, to give them some freedom, we, we make uh, the compensation. But I don't think that it's nice, because I was not so uh, uh, near them to, to control everything. 
they had a good mentality, thanks God, but sometimes it's not happened. And I think that uh, all these marvelous moments that you can have to bring your children to the sport, to go to take them from the school, I did not have this uh, moments at this epoch. I was working too hard. My mother always made the two things, to be a good mother and a good businesswoman. She always takes care of us and uh, we can say that we have a very happy, nice uh, journey. Yes. The mother gave him everything because she had no time to take care of him. No. So he was very, very free and very happy in life. I always uh, love nightlife. First of all, and I like the people, so to make the people happy and take care of the business. Oh, we are always be very close, so I'm his favorite son. <laughs> don't say too oh, don't, <laughs> don't repeat this horrible thing. I'm no, going I'm to have problems with just for true. No, but he was really always more near than me than uh, the others have uh, other personality. We are together. Imagine that he's born the 14th of February, the day of uh, love. So it's special love between together. The most valuable thing that she teach me that is to do what you like. So when you like what you do, you always do it well. Around the 14th of February, it's my. Uh, uh, Arnaud's birthday, and every year since uh, 15 years, he, ma he make a very, very big parties, uh, always uh, very uh, funny with 300 uh, or 400 people. It's the most marvelous party of the year. Olivia Valère, for me, she's somebody that epitomizes uh, making, she knows how to make people happy and knows how to make people feel at home. Amazing, warm, and so professional. Fantastic, beautiful people. I cannot say another thing. <laughs> Fantastic, magic, wonderful. Oh, she is incredible. Oh, well, she's really cool. She's very cool, girl. I love her, <laughs> and uh, I think that she's a, a queen, she loves people, and that is more important. She's smart, she's a tough woman, and friend of her friends. She's a queen, simple as that, she's a queen. I am Olivia Valet, and they call me the Queen of Marbella. Well, I can honestly say that, Sarah, your degree, your honours degree, was well deserved. Thank you. It was just so informative. You covered everything. Yes. Absolutely everything. Christina, you must feel very proud yes, to I see am. the finished product mm. and to see that from the initial concept to the final presentation and then the final grade. What does it feel like, or second year as a university teacher? It's quite rewarding, actually, because teaching should be about this. It's about getting a student who's got an initial idea and just actually making them travel the whole process. 
and she was a great pupil, so it was quite easy. She was there for the hours, <laughs> I must say. So that's why I think she... you're going to miss her. Yes, yes. <laughs> I I am, I am. Any plans <laughs> to go meet her up in Holland and go yeah. and pay a visit? Yes, yes. we really enjoyed Certainly. it. Certainly. Well, I'm getting good. I don't want to lose you either. I've really enjoyed meeting you. Thank you. And congratulations <clears throat> once again. It's a beautiful, it's a work of art. Thanks. It really is. So. For me, it was most important to um, capture Olivia Valère, uh, her personality. That was something I really wanted to, to uh, portray on, on camera, as well as her uh, human side, her more, emotion, her more emotional Thank you side, so much. Instead, of the, instead of just the powerful businesswoman, but also what's behind it. And I think uh, that was uh, done pretty well. I think so too. <laughs> and Olivia, what can I say? Years passing seeing you it's been an honor and pleasure to, as with you to, to have a chance to chat and i have to say thank you very much i think you're an inspiration to everyone but to us women i think you're a, a great example yes. we all agree of how to just go for it and be proud of what we do and let love lead the way yes and uh, you know that uh, in this moment i am really very busy because on the 12th of july i will open two new places that my children make with lots of love and I am behind them, like uh, the teacher with the marvelous pupil. I hope that they will be marvelous pupil too. And uh, we are very busy. So I hope that I invite you to come for the opening of the beautiful places. Uh, and uh, I like to make what I did before uh, in Paris. I bring a, a marvelous life orchestra because I think that in my disco it's for young and the new very, very uh, uh, famous DGs, but for the people of uh, 50 and more, I think that there is a place that we need to find in Marbella and I create it for the people who like uh, dance and the slow and the beautiful music of the 60, 50 uh, and also style Cotton Club. You remember this movie Marvelous with the I'm black delighted. singers? I'm delighted, what can I say? I, I think delighted. that <laughs> we are going to be so happy in this new place. <laughs> In La Meridiana, you know, that's the old I Meridiana. I celebrated my 21st birthday there. I remember ah, so, it's a beautiful place. So now you are going to make your 31 birthday. <laughs> <laughs> You're on. Thank you so much, ladies. It's okay. been a, just you. been fun and very informative. And thank you all for joining us. It's been really nice to have everyone getting a chance to meet the real Olivia Valère and see the behind the scenes, what goes on in Marbella. There's glitz and glamour, but there's also day to day. And the nice thing is it all blends together in such perfect harmony, making us hashtag better together. Viva Marbella. Uh, Marbella. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you it's so much. It's a brand new day.